Hey friends, Dr. Babar here. Today I am going to discuss about the cholesterol stones and the pigment stones. So cholesterol stones contain the cholesterol monohydrate and the pigment stones are composed of bilirubin calcium salts. So cholesterol stones, cholesterol gall stones formation is enhanced by the hypermobility of the gall bladder which promote nucleation and by mucus hypersecretion. So formation of pigment stones is more likely in the presence of unconjugated bilirubin in the biliary tree as occurs in the hemolysis and biliary tree infection. So what are the risk factors for the cholesterol stones? Here I describe you the risk factor for the cholesterol stones. Risk factors for cholesterol stones you can remember risk factor for cholesterol stone by the mnemonic 4 f for f in 4 f the fatty female fertile faulty you know by fatty means obesity and uh, cholesterol stones are uh, common in female gender and also in fertile age like uh, uh, fertile age you know by the female sex hormones and oral contraceptive pills and in pregnancy and you know faulty by uh, means increase age in increase age there are more risk of cholesterol stones and cholesterol stone also due to the are also uh, in, uh, increases uh, uh, risk due to the insulin resistance and uh, rapid weight reduction and uh, gall sto- gallbladder stasis and also in dyslipidemia so pigment stones risk factors for the pigment stones So pigment stones are always remember that pigment stones are mainly due to the hemolysis. Hemolysis is the main risk factor to form pigment stone. And uh, hemolysis is uh, due to the sickle cell anemia and hereditary spherocytosis. So in this case, uh, pigment stones are formed. Like in thalassemia, hemolysis can occur. So it can lead to the pigment stones and pigment stones are also due to the uh, biliary infection. And also pigment stones are due to uh, gastrointestinal uh, disorders, GI disorders. And GI disorder includes the ileal disease like uh, Crohn disease and also due to uh, cystic fibrosis and also with the pancreatic insufficiency. I hope you got the concept. Thanks for watching and if you can do me a favor, thumbs up below. And if you like to watch my next video before others, then subscribe my channel below.